Mike back again with another guide video. In this guide, I'm going to show you how to install and play the movies on Windows 7 and run it at a custom resolution. So the first thing you're going to need to do is put your movie CD-ROM or DVD-ROM in your um, computer. Come to My Computer. I'm going to open the, draw, the folder for the game. You're going to want to right-click on setup.exe and go to Properties. We're going to run this in compatibility mode, so click on that. And you want it to run in Windows XP Service Pack 3, and you want to make sure you run it as administrator. If Service Pack 3 doesn't work for um, this game for you, um, you can try it with Service Pack 2. I've had no issues with Service Pack 3, though. So hit OK. You're going to install the game like normal. When it asks you for your CD key, just type that in. Once it gets to the part of the installation where it asks you if you want to install DirectX and Windows Media Player, hit Yes. Um, for some reason, it requires Windows Media Player, and if you actually say, no, I don't want to install Media Player, the game won't work for some reason. So just say you want to install Windows Media Player. It'll go through its process. It'll, it'll stop the installation because it's an older version of Media Player that's not compatible. So it'll say, this version of Media Player is not compatible with this operating system. Would you like to search online for a solution, or do you want to cancel? So just hit Cancel on the Media Player installation, and then just install DirectX. After everything is installed, come to your Program Files x86 folder. You're going to want to look for Lionhead Studios, the movies, and you're going to right-click on movies.exe. We're going to come into com compatibility, and just make sure you have the same compatibility settings you used when you installed the game. So for me, it was Windows XP Service Pack 3 and Run as Administrator. You hit OK, and double-click the game this will get the game loaded. However, once you're in the game, the max resolution is, I believe, 1280 by 1024. So we're going to have to edit that. So just jump through here. I'll show you the settings. And then we're going to exit the game, and I'll show you where you can actually customize the settings for this game. So here's our... Oh, I don't want credits. Options. Video options. I have this at the best. 1280 by 1024 is the max and a high on color depth. Click that, go back, and exit the game. Click that you want to exit. And to change the resolution, we're going to have to go into Registry Editor. So I take, again, just a disclaimer, I take no responsibility if you mess anything up while in Registry Editor. So if you're going to use it, just go in, make the changes, and get out. Don't hang around in Registry Editor and, you know, mess with everything. So, get it. We're going to type in reg edit. There it is. All right, here we are on registry editor. We want to be in hk underscore current underscore user. And we're going to come down to software, expand that. We're going to look for Lionhead Studios right here. Expand that, and here's the folder for the movies. What we're going to be changing are these two entries here, screen height and screen width. So I'm running a 1920 by 1080 monitor, so I'm going to be changing this to, uh, to match that. So you're going to right-click on, click Modify, and screen width, I'm going to type in 1920, hit OK. Screen height, we're going to do 1080. Hit OK, and we're going to go to File and Exit. We're then going to come back to the movies and double click on that again. And then the game will be running in your current in your custom resolution. So you can run it at 1920 by 1080. You can run it at whatever resolution your monitor supports. Just um, make sure you type those into registry. And that is how you get Windows um, how you get the movies installed on Windows 7 and run it at your full resolution. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.